Hey, We're good. We are live. Hey, what? everybody. Hey. Woo. Welcome Hello. to a fandom live stream. Yeah. Hey, guys. Um, so, hi. Uh, you got Bob, Henry, and Jack from Fandom. We're checking out the newest game to hit the Nintendo Switch. Uh, there is there is other games other than Zelda. Not yes. many. Um, this is one of them. Yes, and this is one of them. So, for those of you who maybe have already beaten Zelda and you're like, now what? Here, here you go. Here's your only option. I think this is the game I would buy after Zelda. I don't know about you guys. I'm old, and mm -hmm. I remember Blaster Master yes. 1, and this is technically the third remake of the game. There was wow. one for Genesis, there was one for PlayStation. Oh, and there was one for Wii. So this is the fourth remake of Blaster Master. So, I mean, it was a huge hit in the 80s, I think, just because of its name. It's called mm -hmm. Blaster Master. That being used with Master Blaster, the character from Mad Max. Right, but I, I assume yeah. there's uh, that was in the brains of the American people who were retitling this game. Oh, totally. I wouldn't be surprised if the Japanese developers were like, we're going to call this Master Blaster. Like, no, that's a uh -huh. Too close. written wheel. Yeah. We'll transpose those names instead. It's called Something Something Mega Fight in Japan, and we'll let this oh. uh, we'll let this I'll... intro play out. Should we let that? Okay, here we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. So it's based Ooh. on the original, so the American version of the original game, uh, grafted on a story about a boy named Jason losing his frog into a hellmouth, <laughs> and then at the end you fight the radioactive frog, and uh, with, right. with, your, uh, <laughs> with your car named Sophia, so these are all very weird choices. Mm. But, but these are all colors the NES could never have. No, no, this is too many colors, but it was called Cho Wakusei Senki Metafight. Yes. Uh, the original game. That means Super Planetary War Records Metafight. I think Blaster Master is a better title. Yeah, more more sellable, but this is like Sunsoft technically is still a company. Yeah, Even but uh, they haven't made a lot since then. <laughs> So, I mean, yeah, but this, but they were smart to hire Inti Creates to make it, who they made Mega Man and 9 and 10 and uh, uh, Azure Gunvolt. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and uh, that other game. Lady uh, something or other. Let's not talk about it. See, the frog's coming down the hole again. is the one I mean. Yeah. yeah. But this story is very similar to the, to the NES game. A frog is jumping down a hole, and uh, then Jason goes down the hole after it. He finds a giant, finds a giant car. Whoa! And, well, actually, a tank rather. And um, like the SNES original, this game is about driving around in a tank and then getting out into go to smaller areas that the tank can't access with Jason himself, which was a very revolutionary thing in 1988. Not so much today, but it's still a cool concept for a game. And this uh, is, from what I've seen, just very faithful. But it's also like. Uh, an 8-bit game the way you imagine it, not how it really was. There's no flickering, there's more colors, the music's a little sharper. A little more forgiving, perhaps? Yeah, uh, there are save points, and uh, mm -hmm. it's, not as, it's not as crushingly difficult. Well, that cutscene reminded me of the Mega Man 9 and 10 cutscenes, which were just like, this is how you thought an NES game would look in a yeah. cutscene when they could have only displayed half those colors and not have as many pixels for details, so... It's how we remember the NES. Yeah, Ooh, well, look at that. Like, yeah, I mean... You're like, yeah, this is what it looks like, <laughs> and then you go back and play something like, oh, no. It's more like Shovel Knight than a real NES game. Yeah. So. Which is one of the few other games you can play on Switch now. Oh, it's, uh, it's available now. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. It was one of the launch games, but still, when you go to the eShop store, it went from being nine games on there to, like... Uh, 18 and six of them are Neo, Neo Geo, Geo games. games yeah. yeah, but no, no Legend of Zelda original, no Mario original. It's just yeah. Uh, it was these... funny. So today's Mario Day. Yeah. March 10th. Get it? Come uh, on. Uh, Mar one. Mar no. It's like Mario. If you wanted your license plate to say Mario, but they <laughs> said that's taken. So you're like, okay. I'll How do about Mar March 10th. Mm. Um, so, so our social media. Version Sharon was like, "Oh, like you guys should totally play a Mario game on the Switch today." And I was like, "Funny uh, story, there is no Mario." Game. That's there literally impossible. Nothing. Like, yeah. they nothing. launched their console without Mario. But that's Anywhere typical now, I guess. I guess. In the last well, twenty years, there hasn't been a Mario game at launch for Nintendo. What are you talking about, Bob? Oh. You have Super Mario Brothers U. Oh. Everybody forgets about it. I don't count that because it's not really memorable. It was but only four years ago. I was. You're technically correct, yes. Henry. It was only four years ago. I was I was playing it for review at a, an event in uh, in Japantown here, and and just like oh, I'm the first. I, I took certain pride in being like I'm the first person to beat this game outside of Nintendo, aren't I? Aren't I? <laughs> And then the uh, they dutifully the PR people were like, yes, yes please uh, sit down, sir. Please sit down. <laughs> like, no, this is what, this is the only reason I got into this field is to beat Zelda, uh, beat a Mario game for other people. 
So this game, uh, one of the standout qualities of the original Blaster Master was just how Sophia the tank moved, and it still feels just as great. Like there's a great, like a bit of momentum to her, mm. uh, the pink tank Sophia, and it just uh. feels good to steer Sophia around. But you can also get out as Jason, which I'll need to do soon. But for now, I can still roll around as Sophia. But this is Jason. He's got like a little piddly gun. Mm. I think that's it. Sophia has a. Um, a standard gun and these missiles, which are, I think are limited, but they, they do recharge, I'm pretty sure. Or you pick up uh, weapon pickups to get them. Is it a bit of a Metroidvania, would you say? That? Yeah, I mean, the original game kind of was. Um, and this game, like the original, has overhead shooting segments with just Jason in a much different perspective. And you should know that because you host a podcast with the man who invented that term. Yes, right? uh, Jeremy Parrish. I, I co-host Retronauts, and we covered um, one of the games made by Sunsoft, Fester's Quest, which... It's made by the Blaster Whoa. Master team, and it's not good, but no. God bless them, they were trying. I would, I would love to see Fester's Quest on here. Oh boy, you'll Would never you? see that again. <laughs> no, I, I can't. Oh no! Oh. So Jason cannot take many hits. I'll. Uh, so we, we have no lives, uh, super fast checkpoints. This is a very modernized version of Blaster Master. Mm. I don't know what killed me, the fall or uh, this guy's gun? I don't think that guy's gun. I bet. I hit the... Yeah, you just timed it perfectly to be shot by that. Well, this music is straight from the original as well. Yes, it's a remix of the music from Noaki Kodaka, which is Ooh, uh, Kodaka's a great one. Which is a very notable 8-bit musician. Mm -hmm. um, Gremlins 2, Blaster Master, Sunsoft games, some Batman for the NES. Oh, the classic yeah. Batman! I love that. The Batman game soundtracks are amazing. The, the one on the Game Boy, I think, is maybe even better than this one. Than it's the, really good. The original one. So as Jason, I can shoot and I can throw bombs, just like the original. Um, and I don't know if I can scroll anymore. Maybe, I think I have to beat all the enemies on the screen to progress. Who knows? Let's... Ah! That's cheap. I'm also I, posting a video as we do this, but uh, I'm believe me, I'm paying attention to people watching this stream. Is that a breakable wall? Uh, you know what? You're right. It's the most obvious breakable wall. Yeah, ah, right everybody. there. And I made my gun better, I think. Yeah, yeah. I see the light. It's now pink. There's now a pink thing on your secondary weapon. So the game, Ooh. the game moves That's, a lot uh, like the original Legend of Zelda. In, in that, this part, it does. Yeah, and that you go kind of go from screen to screen. Yeah, I got a map. So even when you're not playing Zelda, you're and kind you're of playing movies. a Zelda game. This is basically Zelda with a gun. Yeah. Which is what Zelda needs, ultimately. What does Zelda have? You know, I didn't play a lot of Breath of the Wild yet. Yeah, maybe Zelda gets an Uzi or something? Or, uh, Could be. They, it's uh, so removed in time. Uh, Zelda's the playable character. Is she? No. Uh, no. <laughs> I, well, actually, I'm I'm, excited. neither of us have beat it yet. So. Yeah. No, you Who's see, to say she isn't? Uh, uh, Kid oh, Zerus no. wants to challenge Bob to a debate on the merits of oh, the Quest. Oh, jeez. Uh, uh, no uh, debates. There are no <laughs> merits and no debates happening, no. but... Uh, and the music's fine, right? The music's great, yeah. Um, oh, so you can't oh. fall that far with Jason, it looks like. Wow, and jump... Your fall damage is equal to your jump height? Or, like... Um, I'm not sure. Is it, is it, like, just less because you went down a level? I think it might be less because of that, like but... Like, it's uh, exactly your jump height? Yeah. So if you can jump off anything. He has weak, he has weak knees, yeah. but, uh... <laughs> there's lots of little caves, which is, uh... I think different than the original. I think each, each underground section was its own dedicated, like, mini-level, not just a few screens. And All right, laptop closed, baby. Yay. Anyway, the, uh, yeah, the have you done a Bla uh, Blaster Master episode of uh, Retro Nuts? I don't think we have. There, I mean, uh, I guess we could now because this is the fourth remake. Yeah. Again, this game, I don't know. There's if it no was... been Blaster. There's never been a Blaster Master two though, right? Uh, no. There was a Genesis one, a PlayStation one, the Wii one, which I reviewed back in the day. Oh and wow. And the then Wii this one, right. one, yeah, which was pretty good, but it was also very hard with really unfair uh, checkpoints. <laughs> So I never finished it, but I did play most of it, and um, you'll never play it again or see it anywhere else. So yeah. if you play it then, then you'll never play it. Did you know they actually put out a game on the Wii U eShop this week too? Um, what? Yep, they did. Really? Uh, it actually, it's where most people are playing Zelda, right? Uh, uh, sure, it's where Bob's playing Zelda. Oh yeah, yeah. I can't. Well, I'm I, playing Zelda. <laughs> no way. Well, yeah, I I was shocked to hear like Wii U or Switches are hard to find just because. The Wii U was such a disappointment. Like I, I worked real hard. Not real hard, but I did. I did make effort to get it on launch day. And then everybody the next day was like, "Yeah, I bought it." Or I didn't. I didn't buy one because everybody could buy it. So who cares? I just preserved one because it was a novelty to just get a, a system at launch in 2012. That mm -hmm. was not the case for the Wii. The Wii One, at least. Yeah. Just like, are you are you in line now on the release date? Well, if not, then. 
I'll see you in 2008, buddy. Yeah, that, the Wii launch date, very different, though, from the, uh, the Switch, yeah, somebody, uh, a person, ooh, diagonal shots. Uh, the, somebody at work, uh, somebody else at work was like, can I, they were asking if they could borrow this Switch over the weekend, just to play it, I was like, what, you just go buy one? Oh, yeah, no, you no. can, like, I forgot. We'll see you in April, is that everything on this No screen? rock unturned. They're gonna be shocked to find that the only two games on this one are Metal Song and Blaster Hazard uh -huh. Zero. Oh, okay, yes, we got, yeah. We got Waku Waku 7 uh, for all you late adopters. Yeah. If you waited a week. Like well, not like literally on this machine is just that because I'm not like I'm not done with Zelda. I'm not giving up Zelda to some weekend warrior man. I gotta beat Zelda. Uh -huh. Zelda is the greatest. I mean, like, let's just start playing Zelda again. I, I'm just get my I know, Switch man. And plug every it right time here. we move this up, I'm like, what if we just played Zelda instead? Uh -huh. like, yeah. I never want to finish it. I just want to keep wandering around and no, just finding things. I don't want like... a critical path. I, 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 at a certain point, I'm getting tired of doing critical paths. I was like, but then it might be over sooner. I just, yeah, I'm resentful of the fact that there's a glowing waypoint on my map where it's like, go here now, but I don't want it's to play right anymore. Here. Yeah. But then again, you have endless, like, um, I don't know if you've, if you've beaten one of the Divine Beasts. No, like, not even close. So, but when you, let's just say, when you're done with that, you'll eventually, when you uh, come back. more switch, like, um, more things will be turned on of just like, oh, you can, like, we opened up 18 new side quests in this area since you beat this. We were playing a lot about Zelda during the stream, but that's fine. I, I actually noticed the gaming, the former gaming journalist Jeff Green also noted that the uh, the temples were a lot like portal levels, and I felt the exact same yeah. way when I was playing. Like, you, this, yeah, these are just like portal yeah, levels. The shrines, the yeah, shrines are, shrines, yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is them wrecking, like, there's, there's multiple things in it of just like, oh, you guys finally played, like, a Valve game, and now we're making... <laughs> They are making stuff based on. This is brilliant. That might be a checkpoint. It is. I, I saw it say. Oh, was, yeah. Corner, yeah. But so. they, yeah, that they could never. But it, I think too, the show's just how hot and heavy that uh, the Switch came in at. That they're just like, there's no streaming anything on this. Like you can't. Uh, you can take screenshots, but not directly stream or share anything from the system. Yeah. You can't watch Netflix or Hulu or Amazon on it. And there's not even virtual console. You're like, what? so what is there? Well, there's Zelda. And yeah. they got it on. I think they knew, too, they couldn't. If the Switch waited, if Nintendo waited for the Switch until, like, the fall when Scorpio is out, then they're in, they're in worse position. Yeah, totally true. I mean, Breath of the Wild looks good, but it also looks like a last-gen game. But I guess to talk about what we're playing here, though, what? This, no, I think no, it's fine. I, I, I think it's this is related. Well, yeah, Ma uh, Blaster Master is one of the many Nindies they're selling, which I think is a another massive difference between how they're treating the Switch and the Wii U. This, was this uh, just like surprise announced or something, or yeah, a surprise so, well, launch? So there was a there was a big deal uh, I, at, at GDC. I went to and they had like their Nindies conference where they're like. No, we got all we got sixty different indie uh, games for this system, and you may have heard that we're the Nint Nintendo's not good at working with indies, but we are. And look at all the ones we've got, and we've got way more coming. So I was like, cool, all right. And this was one of them. And so it's them, kind of like how Sony, actually very similar to how Sony, you know, when the PS4 came out and the Xbox One came out within a week of each other, Xbox One was just like. We've got our games, and we have we got our games. That's it. And then meanwhile, <laughs> PS4 was like, we have these launch games, but also here's tw here's twelve indie games. It's just as a real. We've got something. Games, yeah. Like, yeah. So, I think that's the big difference there too. I can swim. Ooh, I like that animation. Fun little dog pedal. Maybe we can ask the chat if you want, if you like Inti Creates to remake a uh, favorite old game of yours, what would you want Ooh, them to make? Ooh, yeah, that is because a good question. Look how good this looks for um, what they're trying to go for. Well, I also wonder what our, yeah, it looks so great, especially on an HD television. But I also wonder what constitutes a uh, old, old game, game yeah. to our viewers. Well, I think I mean 8-bit, because I mean, yeah. Inti Creates, they just kind of do 8-bit retro remakes. Yeah, though like. this is, I mean, this is the this is the cheat of all these 8-bit yeah. remakes, is that this is 12, uh, this is like a 12 bit 14, or 14 bits. it's not fully 16 bits. Like, and to be honest, you can make this game with like just regular graphics, non mm -hmm. non blocky graphics, and it would be a fine indie game. But it would lack its charm. Yeah. Yeah, it seemed like, like, I 
seems to feel old, but it'll look old. It has this weird disconnect in my brain. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm like, oh, this is like really dated. Like, or they need just a little extra spin to it of like, uh, Super Meat Boy is really old school, but the just at least in 2010, huh. when you restart a level, it feels like, oh, this feels special, or this feels this feels new, or something that I wouldn't play on an NES. Like this quick to restart. All right, you got your first answer from uh, Kid Fenris, who shows up to all the streams with you guys. Hey, he's um, pretty good. He wants and he creates two remakes of the Guardian Legend, oh, yeah. Crystalis, mm. and Vice Project Doom, which, if you had just made those up right now, I would uh, not have known. Nah. Those are all great NES games, all right. uh, especially Crystalis. It is like a, The Legend of Zelda, but with more anime. Wow. It's okay. like The Legend of Zelda meets uh, Nausicaa, the, the Ghibli movie. That looks like another bond thing. All right, Brems says, uh, get Inti on Shatterhand. Oh, Shatterhand. These are all, like, uh, totally bro-out NES games. Nah. You know, when you watch Nausicaa for the first time, if you've never seen it, and then you're like, oh, that's where every Japanese video game got its idea in the 80s. Like, it was all... Not all Nausicaa, but like... A lot of suspicious-looking robots. Yeah, suspicious-looking robots, end of the world, rebuilt society, the things that are certainly not chocobos, but very close to chocobos. Yeah, that's the first Final Fantasy, totally. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, I like this one. Kaiman says, Indy Creates presents Monster in My Pocket Zero. Whoa. <laughs> now that, that is surprisingly a good game. You would not believe it based on the fact that it's a licensed game, but that's a great Konami game back when they made yeah. video games. What, what are you great, talking about? What a great license that was, too. Like, yeah. they were basically just erasers shaped yeah. like Dracula. Oh, yeah, like, that's right. And they all have different val number values, like, stamped on their feet. So it's like, I have the 20-point Medusa, like, Whoa. and it's blue. I love that sprite for it that It felt like game. there was a game that I just, like, they were booster packs to a game I didn't have the starter pack of. And I was just like, what is this? It does feel like a weird uh, set of figures without a game attached, but there should be one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like, what do these points mean, ultimately? <laughs> I it definitely added like a, yeah. it had like it had a weird Japanese like kind of like rareness factor to it, right? It was like, oh, you got you got a rare like Frankenstein. You're like, oh, okay. You got an S fan. level, S level Frankenstein. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I'm trying to think of another one I want from them. I'm really excited about, um, you know, there was a separate game announced this week of uh, uh, called uh, OKKO. Oh, a boss. For, oh boy. Ooh. What the what hell, hell is that? that? Hell, giant said a naughty mutant? word. This is a PG-13 game, everybody. Whoa, I hope you're it. ready. All right. Since the game said Ooh, hell, right. you can all say ah, hell. Hell, that's the official hell, rules. hell, hell. Wait, it, that literally is Mother, Mother Brain. Brain. Like, you're just going to fight Mother Brain? You know how many NES games illegal. have an enemy called Mother Brain? Ah, There's okay. a lot of them. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. no. Whoa. Go to hell. Go to hell. <laughs> oh, no. I should kill these little option guys. Yeah, they're only gonna be trouble until then. I like this boss music. Castlevania style music. Oh no! Uh, oh, look at that health party. Yeah. You getting it down? Oh, oh no. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Took a hit to get to get back out. You can tell this game came from the '80s because the um, the hero has the most default uh, little white kid uh, name in the world, Jason. Oh yeah, Jason. Jason yeah. It should be like it could be Kevin or like Matthew or something. Yeah. <laughs> We had boring names back in the 80s. I know, my name is Bob. What, like, what yeah. the hell's going on here? Well, I seriously have eight friends named Chris. Like, everybody was named Chris. When I they weren't the Chris, they were of, Michael. Like, cartoon characters and stuff. <laughs> really and nursery rhymes, and songs. I had Max, and there weren't a lot of Maxes where I grew up. That was my childhood nickname. Oh, that's pretty good. Mighty Max? Yeah. Yeah, I was excited when the Mighty Max show came out. Dirty <laughs> diapers! Oh wait, no, that's Fantastic that, that's, Max. That's Fantastic Max. The Sorry, baby, Mighty Max the was, that was, Polly was Pocket. boy Polly Pocket. Polly Pockets for boys. Yes, it was, I uh, remember yeah. that. But that show was cool because people died people in it. People died, there were stakes. Wow. Oh my gosh. Like Tony J was in it. The monster oh, yes. always Tony killed some J. nameless nobody at the beginning of the episode. That's we were right. like, oh shit. Yeah. It was the most seriously you could take a property with a villain named Skullmaster. <laughs> See, I barely watched it because it was not in a good time slot. And my, I like it would, I would be watching the the intro to it, and then I was like, "No, you got to go to school." Like, oh, man. All right, chat says, uh, "Daniel Trish says hi." Hello. Hey, hey guys. Um, nice to see you. And then Kid Friend asks, "Can you strafe in this game, or do you, do you always have to fire in the direction you're facing?" 
Uh, I don't think you can strafe. Uh, I, I haven't been holding your shoulder button. Shot. Yeah, let me try. That's a good question. That would have been. Uh, this is good only if I had read that while he was still in that part. There we go. Um. Uh, I'm hitting every button. Oh wait, no, no, oh. no. There yeah, look. And you got a little shotgun Ooh, blast. Spread shot. All right. I don't know how I switched to that. Let me try all the buttons. Oh. Oh wait. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you're playing oh, like an NES here. game, but you're but you've got more oh, buttons. Oh, look at that. One oh. shield. Wow, you were doing all that without any of those weapons. Quite the arsenal. That's great, okay. Thank you. One of those shields can block things. Yeah, so shout out to Kid Federis who forced us to press uh, all the buttons and discover that this game has. You can strafe! You, you can, can strafe. strafe and you can change your weapon types apparently. You have multiple weapons. I'm just thinking of the truck. Yeah, yeah. Looks like Fred's signals Fred. are coming from the forest. Fred. We'll area find you, anymore. Fred. The, f the frog named Fred. Ooh, it works for the same for this uh, this one. Or can you switch weapons with the same buttons on this one? Uh, I don't know if Sophia has different weapons. I don't think so. I mean, you have two weapons you can switch between, uh, mm -hmm. but it's just this and your regular shooter. Maybe you can unlock them or something. Okay. But I know in the NES game there are upgrades for the tank where you can uh, drive on walls, on ceilings, stuff like that. So there are other cool indies that are coming after this. I'm surprised that. It's it's surprising that Ma Blaster Master Zero gets to be the one to to get that honor of the first the the first real Nindy. Well, along with like uh, Bozex or Bozex, there's this other game we can. Boaz. Boaz. Boys. Boys. I don't. Yeah, I don't know what that it is. That is. Oh, so I found that on the App Store. It is free. Oh, it's free. It's oh, on, free the, app on Star, the App Store. But ten dollars on the. Twenty-five bucks. Wait, twenty. Wow. Twenty-five bucks because uh, it comes with a hundred songs, and you pay per whatever uh, J-pop song I you want to tap it's, out to. I'm guessing it's free on the App Store, but but you, a dollar per song oh, or something. There's like keys. Every time you play, it's keys, uh, and you recharge keys and stuff. So like, mm -hmm. but like Japanese songs aren't are cheap. But yeah, so if you're looking Ooh. at boys. That Vocaloid based rhythm tap game thinking, do I want to spend this? Like, go buy, download it for free on your phone mm. and realize how totally dated it feels. The answer will still be no. It'll be yeah. no. It'll be absolutely no. We save you some time. I get, um, get I Am Setsuna before that. I oh, yeah, is that out on the Switch? Uh, yep. I've always wanted to play that game. I really should have uh, played it last year. Uh, Bob, I don't know if you can make that jump. I think I can. Do it. Oh, oh see, I thought you would have been able to do it. I need to take out that uh, plant guy first. Yeah. Um, all right, so people are asking, hey, what's up? This is Fandom. We're playing Blaster Hi. Master Zero, Hello. which is an Indie Creates remake of the 1988 NES game. It's part Metroidvania platformer, part vehicle-based action game. Wait, part also Zelda? Part, there part, we go. Like, yeah, part top-down Zelda shooter. I wanted to do like, this. Yeah. Um, now, now I'll be able to make it. Watch out for those bees. Watch out for the bees. I'm the head bee guy here, the yeah. fandom, so. Oh, good. Good one. Bob made a Simpsons reference. Yeah, you'll find that happens a lot on my streams. Bob is a Simpsons expert. We mainly talk in Simpsons quotes, too. Yeah. If when not I other quotes. I now start to, like, take note of the Simpsons quotes I do. Uh -huh. I think there's so many that I just, like, they're totally subconscious. But now I'm like, huh, I should tell that one to Bob and Henry. Yeah. <laughs> We would appreciate it. It's a common language we share, like twins. Yeah. You are right. It is it, it, for our generation. If you just watch The Simpsons all the time as a kid, it, it just becomes second nature to be like steam hams or whatever. Yeah. But also, that's like Jurassic Park quotes with my friends too. Of, uh, I remember you fighting that guy. You can totally kill him now. Yeah. Now I upgraded oh, my gun. Your gun. I wasn't paying attention, but I got a gun upgrade, so now I can take out those previous barriers that I faced earlier. So it, it is a Metroidvania, which is a mix of Metroid and Castlevania, two old games. Mm. Uh, it just means that there's uh, like exploration. I agree. Oh, all right. It's based on it's two. A, it's a spelunky something or other. It's a I've, spelunka Zelda. I've heard, I've heard them called something like a puzzle platformer or whatever, but that's just too boring. Yeah, I yeah. mean, they don't make Metroids and they don't make Castlevanias anymore, so you have to be of a certain age <laughs> to know the reference. So. I'd also be so down right. for uh, just two really great versions of those games coming out now. So yeah. People be nice. Lock that in again. Oh well. well. No, there there was at least I feel there's I'll more. I'll even take a 3D Metroid. Like, there's at this point, yeah. Well, did you did you buy that one line, the 3D Metroid last Federation year? Federation Force? No. No. I well, they're not real one. Yeah. Well, if you're Nintendo, then you're just gonna say, 
these nerds say they'll buy a Metroid game, but we put out that one and nobody bought it. It's like, I don't think 2016 we were looking for a co-op Metroid game yes. on 3DS. Yes. Yes, who, oh, where no. you didn't play as Samus. Yeah. Nobody wanted that. Yeah, come on, I've defended Metroid Prime Hunters. Don't make me mad. Yes. Uh, wow. Wow, Metroid, you're the only one. Look, I opened yeah. up a shortcut, so... I was, I was so desperate for, like, a, like, game I could be like, look at this, this is, like, so cool, and, like... Real, it's a cool shooter on but, my DS. And was like, nah. Can you believe this? There's 3D happening on a handheld. I can't. I actually more prefer the uh, Metroid Pinball. Yeah, Metroid really? Pinball, Pinball was, yeah. Was, was great. It was uh, one of the few. Can't really uh, call that a Metroid game. No, Area two. Area two. Like wow. Sonic Spinball, your favorite Sonic game. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, well, I, except for the other game was awful. It's pretty bad. Worst soundtrack on the uh, Genesis. Oh. <laughs> 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 Of course, the Wikipedia for the original game has a criticism by Jeremy Perry. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Course. I mean, uh, of course it does. He probably wrote more words on this than there is contained in the novel War and Peace. <laughs> so that's why we love him. Yeah. Watch out for they, that they still use that ad for free Wi-Fi at SFO that looks like Jeremy Perry is sitting there. Oh yeah. And and every I, time I'm in the airport, I'm like, what the? I point that out to him. Uh, I pointed that out to him about two years ago. He's like, yes, I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everyone tells me that. Shut up. <laughs> I had a I had a similar thing as a kid. There was a um, in the in the Florida area I lived in. There were multi, There were weekly. There were ads for this um, like carpet store where they grandson of the guy who owned it would host it and he looked very similar to me and then kids at work would be or kids at school would be like you're from the you you sell carpet did right? the store of a famous child owner or something no no it was i think he was like the grandson oh, okay oh they, the grandson got the it. the guy who owned it was just like my kid hosts all these commercials that was that's a very local commercial thing where oh, it's yeah. like i've had children and now they're stars i kind of miss that in local commercial Ooh, you're getting a quite you're getting the exclamation points Ooh, something's nearby something's mm -hmm. vibrating help So uh, now it's not a question. So I guess you were in a secret area over there, but what? Well, what's? I think it's trying to point me to where I'm supposed to go next, or that there's a treasure up here, or something. But um, it's probably closer to down here. I mean, you would just keep going up anyway. Like this is just the natural direction of the level. Right. Inti creates is uh, right below your thing. Oh wait, so there's an end. There was. I think it's actually this way. There's a little tunnel to the side here that I'll go into. In uh, out yeah. of body experience. Oh. There we go. Ah, I think this yeah. is it. See, it's lighting up. Yep. Ah. Oh. But Indie Creates has made pretty good games. They're kind of the only... They're the top ones in Japan, so I think they end up with a lot more jobs like this than... Uh, a lot more assignments like this than other companies, you know? Though I am looking forward to the... Uh, there's a lot of other cool Nindies coming out. Some I played, some I didn't. One of them was uh, Pocket Rumble, which is the craziest idea of its... American developed indie game fighter that's made to play just like a Neo Geo Pocket, ver the Neo Geo Pocket version of Ka uh, SNK vs. It, Capcom. It's literally being wow, made really? for 500 yes. people. Yeah, it's for like no one, at least in America, I'd say n almost no one re uh, remembers. I mean, Neo Geo Pocket. Did either of you have a Neo Geo Pocket color? No. I did. I mean, I, my brother did, actually. Okay, I, I was a huge game nerd back then, but that was a step too far even for me. <laughs> I was like, that thing will last six months, and I don't want Sonic right now. <laughs> my, little, my little brother swore by the, um, not just the fighting game, but the, the card game. The card game, the SNK oh, versus Capcom. I've heard nothing but good things about SNK that. SNK versus Capcom is, a, is weirdly a card game. Yeah, that, but it's also Pokemon. It's like, it's Man. a Pokemon card yeah. game. And uh, he loved it. He loved it. And yeah, that, so the hyper limited graphics of that game. All right, now this really is just a Zelda dungeon. Yeah. Anyway, the hyper limited graphics of po Neo Geo Pocket are right there in it. I also, uh, at my old place, the uh, one of the British editors, he swore that the greatest sound of a uh, of the greatest sound that hardware has ever made is the sound of the. D-pad on the Neo Geo Pocket Color, just like clicky Clicking. click. He loved that clicky click of it. He, he, he did a whole video about how it was the best clicks ever, and how best the, the clicks ever. and how the uh, and how that. Uh, you remember when they tried to resell the Neo, or they? I mean, they didn't try to. They did. I'm just like it's the Neo Geo system, and you know it. 
it was like a handheld version of the Neo Geo that you could plug oh. in the old control, uh, the old ca uh, cartridges That's into. That's right. He's he was like, this has almost as good of clicks as the <laughs> other one. I judge all controllers by how they click. Clicks. Oh, that was a clicks were my initial like deterrence from the rock band guitar versus the guitar hero. Oh, uh, okay. The rock band one had no clicks; it felt too soft. Really? And okay. Wasn't, and I wasn't into I it. That. Now, now I much prefer it because uh, having just click 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 <laughs> uh, drove my dog insane. Oh, oh and no. He, and he, peed all over my guitars. Oh, rock band wow. seems... And I was like, oh, what's up, rock band guitars? I'm just for something. Rock band is, is a war against the animals, really. It really is, yeah. It's like yeah. scare yeah. every he dog. He singing like... either. <laughs> he was not a fan of us. It's funny that we all, like, everybody played rock band all the time for a while, and then it's just, then we, everybody just stopped. So, and well, I'm done with this we, now. We still play it in my household. Oh, really? okay. We okay. got, so 4 came out, and we got it, and then, like, the funny thing about 4 was that, like, it didn't come with multiplayer. They, like, what? they finally released multiplayer, oh, like, God. like, a month ago as a $20, Ooh. like, expansion. Jesus. Ooh, Mad Cats. Ooh. Yeah. That's so not it's good. Like, it's this weird, it's just such a weird thing. Um, but yeah, songs are still coming out and everything. I mean, and I still have, like, friends who will be like, hey, you want to play Rock Band? I'll be like, oh, yeah, all right. I mean, if somebody asked me, I'd be like, yes, but yeah, I, yeah. I, my instruments that I still have, for whatever reason, are broken beyond belief. Unresponsive and, and nobody awful. wanted to keep them nearby anymore. I don't think. No, it was no. like I, I put these away. Yeah, I, I'm spoiled enough to have a dedicated video game room. Oh, jealous. Well, that's nice. Trash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, all you gotta do is a uh, uh, date a guy who also likes video games and agree to never have children. That is and, a good step. Uh, yeah. So you gotta get on that. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, uh, well, yeah, I, yeah, I also just have a, I have a studio apartment currently, so not, uh, not as much yes. room for gaming. RPGs are my children. <laughs> <laughs> it takes less time to raise them. Only eighty hours. <laughs> Only eighty hours. And then you, and then you get something satisfying at the end, so like a disappointment. <laughs> a surly uh, teen. A surly teen. I kid. I kid. All right, that's got to be the thing it's indicating. Yeah, I don't know if I can get through there though. Oh wait, I have to jump off and go into Jason. Mm -hmm. it's time uh, for it's Jason. Jason. It's Jason, Jason time. Jason. Jason. Boy, that game. The only good Jason in gaming is in Blaster Master. <laughs> uh, some people like that uh, uh, Friday the Thirteenth game. Oh yeah. Did that Kickstarter game come out? It got delayed, but it looks awesome. It's the Left 4 Dead sequel that uh, is never being made that I want. Basically, <laughs> just like you and four people against one horrible thing. And it looks so cool. Well, you'll never get three of uh, Love for Death 3 because Valve can't cancel for it. Uh, they can't make anything that's not uh, League of Legends content. Well, I mean, it, would you rather them make... I mean, if you were a company, would you rather make $4 billion oh. or $100 billion? No, no, that's an incredibly smart move that disappoints the world. Yeah, but, uh, I heard that actually, like, League of Legends is not quite as, like, profitable as, like, we're led to believe. Oh, uh, yeah? That, like, or their, their efforts to, like own its esports rights and like own that is not is not uh, that profitable. So other people are making money off League of Legends but not Valve as much. Yeah. Oh no, you mean no when you say League you mean the right. Oh Dota 2, Dota, Dota 2, yeah, yeah Dota sorry, I bet. Sorry, yes. And I'm and I'm talking about League. But yeah. uh Dota 2 I think is just because they're not they don't have a, a Dota 2 owned like esports league. Mm. So they're not fronting all the money for that. Well, it's tough to get an esports league started now. I mean, though also I had friends. I had friends who got hired by Riot Games because Riot was like, no one's writing about esports. Nobody, nobody at the major game websites are writing about esports, so we have to hire the people at those game websites just to write for us. And I don't know how long that experiment lasted. But we better be ready to run. Yeah. So nothing like this was in the original because this could not have happened in the yeah, original. How, yeah. How could they have programmed for like the water to come back? Bleep, 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 bleep. So it's integrates doing things with hardware that could not be done before, but it seems like it could if you're just mm -hmm. not remembering correctly. Like, oh yeah, of course. You just hope that they could have done this. Uh, there's oh, I want to talk a little more about the other new teas too. So there's the Pocket Rumble game. There's a uh, Hawaii Shakedown, which is kind of the sequel. Uh, Tokyo Beatdown. <laughs> no, to, no, to um. Uh, Ra Retro City Rumble. Oh, uh, okay. Retro City Rampage. Rampage. Okay. Retro City Rampage. I mean, there's got Rumble on the brand. Yeah. Yeah, Retro City Rampage uh, and Pet. 
And so it's another like top down. It's like it, it, this one is now a Super NESified version of GTA though. So top down original GTA look and violence oh, and all that stuff. But uh, the plot, is the the, oh, the no. ooh, ooh. it's not a good time for me. Oh no no no! Oh, oh you I ran out plan. of oh. I ran out of juice on my gun. I didn't realize it. Okay. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, it's uh, the, the plot of the plot of it is also that the uh, that you have to like plan. Ooh, that's pretty. Cool. I like that. Yeah, I just got to make sure to keep an eye on my ammo meter. But that you have to. So the special point. weapons have limited ammo. They do. I think it's the red meter, but uh, this one totally owns. Look at that. Right, sorry. sorry uh, keep no, going. no, no. Yeah. Anyway, well, a shakedown, pretty cool. Uh, it, it's also there's um, uh, there's this other really neat one that. Uh, oh yeah, Steam World Dig Two. The Steam World Steam World Dig Two looks pretty cool. Oh yeah, totally. I love Steam World Dig. It's great. Oops. And uh, I mean, the Steam World uh, Tactics game is pretty good too, though it was uh, not exactly the same. Oh, it was so close to a full build. And uh, uh, there were some more I, I am totally forgetting about. Oh yeah, the um, if you're already excited about ukulele but want to get another um, flashback to classic rare games, then there's Snake Pass. It's basically if they made their own, somebody not rare making a new shake, rattle, and roll. I'm trying to figure out if Snake Pass is a pun I'm just not getting. Because I didn't understand that, you, I mean, ukulele, I get ukulele, like the instrument, but I didn't realize it was, it was tied into Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah. Because Banjo's an instrument, ukulele's an instrument, haha, I get it. We all get it. But I didn't get that until last week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, ba oh. When talking about it with another editor, with, a, with the wonderful, very, very good Sam Loveridge, our... UK games editor. She's who, got a clear bias because Rare's from the UK. Uh -huh, she's from the UK. Yes. I mean, come on. So I don't know. She like Rare's a Rare's London, uh, Northern UK. She oh yeah. Might, I don't know. Maybe she has a bias against Northerners. Very different parts of the country. I don't know where she's from exactly. To Americans, if you're not an American watching this, I'll just say like, to Americans, England is all one place, and we don't think we we don't think of there being more than that. Yeah. I mean, honestly, like, prove us wrong. <laughs> Prove us wrong, Yeah, kids. you have yet to do so. Um uh, Larva is coming in about how it looks like Bob is holding literally nothing on camera, and that uh. is true. Like, your fingers block the, like, Joy-Cons from the camera That's that angle. Yeah. Like, it does not look like you're holding anything. I'm actually an evolved human. I'm controlling the game with my mind. Bob, I do think this is the longest you've ever played a Switch, so... Yeah. How are, how are you feeling about it? You know what? Uh, I will say it is comfortable, but I am ha having problems finding buttons when I need to find them on the uh, on the triggers. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Like in a, where your muscle memory is. And just holding, I'll just say holding one of those to play, say, Bomberman, not so fun. Yeah, it was not good. No, like seriously, I stand by my statement of like $50, you should never spend $50 uh -huh. on Bomberman. Oh Whoa! no! Uh, Aaron Weary. Shadows wants to know, Henry, are you planning on going to Paximania. Well, I'm here and not in uh, Boston, so... Oh, uh, yeah, so that's Pax East thing. Sadly, yeah. no. I wasn't invited to... I haven't moved up enough in the League of Heels yet to get invited to Paximania. That's for high-level League of Heels people. I only just made my first appearance at Pax Rumble and didn't have a very good showing either, so... Um, uh, let's see how I perform in next year's Pax Rumble before I'm invited again. I loved it. I would say I was... I thought I was over being nervous about things that involved playing a game live, but in the in the like 30 minute lead up to doing the Pax Rumble, I was just like shaking and, just, uh -huh. and my le and like I had to uh, talk to name drop Dan Danielle Rando of Waypoint. Oh. I had to keep talking to her of like, uh, uh, is this gonna be okay? Will this be? What do you? What do we do? What do I do? She's like, it'll be fine. <laughs> I was like, okay, okay, three. So I gotta point out, this is a Zelda boss. This is the Moldorm. Oh yeah, wait, the this past. is exactly the yeah. Zelda boss, isn't it? So they're just stealing Zelda bosses. It's fine. <laughs> they're giving you the Zelda remake yeah. that you'll never get. So this game is about half Zelda. If, if you want a 2D Zelda, play Blaster Master Zero. It's only nine bucks. I mean, ten That's, bucks, right? Yeah, yeah pretty I mean, good. Like, uh, even if you say that as a like an insult, it's still a compliment. Yeah. Like this game is half Zelda. Like, okay, great. In fact, I wish it was available for more than just a Switch. I want to play this when I get home now. Mm -hmm. Too bad. Better. Uh -huh. You should have got a switch, baby. I should've wish I did. Should have pre-ordered it when I did. At, uh, when we were in um, uh, Manhattan. 
New York City. New York City. Oh, well, there was Jesse Moore asks, how would this play on 3DS? Probably pretty well. Oh, yeah. I I, pretty I, I dark well, yeah. 3DS, you actually. know what? I would say expect the 3DS version at some point. I oh, don't yeah. think they would let this... Uh, I wouldn't see Sunsoft keeping this just on a system that only one per that, uh, on such a <laughs> small <laughs> system. Yeah, that only one person owns. Now, actually, it's very possible that you're the farthest along <laughs> in this game at this point. <laughs> Now, uh, Reggie was very, Reggie, I mean, what, what else is Reggie going to say? But Reggie, Reggie says it was one of the best launches they ever had. It's definitely many more, a better launch than the Wii U launch was, that is for sure. But probably not better than... It is on the 3DS. Oh, it is? What? There you go. Oh, oh, I'm wow. going to play it on 3DS then. Take that, everybody. See, you didn't have to buy a Switch at all. I can say I'm waiting for, for a Splatoon 2 before I buy a Switch. That's yeah, my, uh, Splatoon yeah. 2 is definitely... I mean, well, I don't know if I can, I mean, I, I'm going to go back to Splatoon, but after playing so much Sonic Overwatch, Rumble. I don't know how I can go back to Splatoon. It's still good, but man, I hope they add a little more uh, convenience to that game. Yeah, I, well, I mean, you know, I don't blame Nintendo. They made their first ever Oh, for a real first game try. Like that. Yeah. So good, so good. Yeah, I'm, I'm confident in their ability to make it better. Like, how much so? We'll see. Mm, but they, I mean, they're adding just the simple things of like spectator mode. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it does seem that they at least like, like figured out the kind of like logistics behind what a, a true multiplayer game is. Yeah, but they also have to. Uh, Let's see what my menu looks like. Go ahead. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, they also. I'm going to the Blaster Master Zero wiki. Uh, the Blaster Master Zero entry on the Blaster Master wiki, powered by fandom. Oh. Yeah, I worked there. No. Oh. Yeah, this is still planned for... I don't think it's out on the 3DS yet. I think it's still planned for spring on the 3DS, but the... Did you lie to us, Terrence? <laughs> Let's see. Man. I think I have a new weapon. I wish I was a Pax Ace, though. these look doesn't... more distinctive from uh, each other. So they're they're a tell. little weird. Uh... I mean, I guess that level of design, too, shows you of, like, this could easily... This can be just put on a 3DS easily. Great music, we're talking over it, it's really, it's so, like, just good, pulse-pounding NES music, but they really have a lot to work from with the original game, it's a great soundtrack. Mm -hmm. I hope this means other classic Sunsoft games will come back if they're putting stuff by, it seems like Blaster Master is one of the first ones they always go to. But then again, they don't own the rights to, to Batman. Per se, you'll never or, see that game again. Or Fester Quest. Yeah. Oh well, thank God we'll never see that game. Nah. But I mean, well, yeah. Who that even owns more likely, right? Yeah. But, like, <laughs> I'll buy that license for twenty dollars. Well, I think the uh, it, I missed the. I feel like it's not going to happen again. It was so nice at the start of last console generation of just uh, yeah, where we Konami will work together with Ubisoft to put out old Turtles games. Yeah, you'll pay an extra dollar, but yeah. it's better than nothing. And you can play, like, I never thought I'd get a legal way to play the Simpsons arcade game. That was great, yeah. And the X-Men one? And the X-Men one, yeah. too, yeah, but now that feels like it's over. Like, they, the, the, all of those have been delisted, so you can't buy them again. Wow. Another boss. Man. Oh, did they get delisted? Bibi yeah, Legion. Bibi Legion. Yep, you can't, you can re-download if you own it, but, um, but you can't buy it new. So yes. <laughs> I know, well, I mean, that's just... That is, that's the secret future Microsoft didn't tell you about when they announced, you know, when they first showed off the, uh, now it's bigger. When they first showed, now it's just become Galaga. Yeah, uh, I like anyway, it. That was the secret uh, future of, of digital games Microsoft didn't want to talk about it. Just like, you, oh, yeah. you, these things can be unsold to you too, and they also don't want to give you a warning. We all know about PT, right? Yeah. Mm, yep. Or also the, um... Well, now it's back, but Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom was just gone for two years. And with, all, wait, with just one week of warning, it's just like, if you didn't buy Marvel, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom yes. 3 now, you'll never get it. Though now it's back again, though, for how long? Yeah. As long as that license lasts, but, yeah. part of the, but part of getting a license like Capcom is not saying when the license ends. That's part of the deal. So they can't say, our deal with Marvel ends tomorrow. Like, they have to tell you... You have to just kind of tell, like, oh, it's December and this game is on sale for half price. Oh. I think it's getting delisted. Huh. It'd be really great if that, uh, 
also happened to like Lego Dimensions. Oh yeah. <laughs> like you, you put your little guy on the thing now, and it's like, nope, not a character. <laughs> like they all had expiration dates. Please give two dollars twenty century bucks, and we'll unlock part. I mean, yeah. I get ready for. Uh, I hope you're enjoying. I hope you enjoyed season three of Lego Dimensions because uh, uh, season four been, is. Been, uh, uh, Based on the prices, I the sale prices I've seen of Lego Dimensions car. Oh my uh, gosh! Wow, this is a real boss rush here. Uh, but the like they have been really marked down Lego Ooh. Dimensions. Oh yeah, it's, man, it's plummeted. The um, but it's weird because it's like their their strategy's still going. Like like they released like they're not releasing sequels. Yeah. They just were like here's a Ghostbusters. Like playset and expansion pack. Here's the Lego Batman like expansion. It's pack. It's just been expansion pack, so it's easier. It would be easier for them to just like, I don't know, make five, four new expansion packs this year instead of eight or whatever. You know? Yeah. It's not like Disney Infinity where they just said we don't want to make Disney Infinity four. And that's the only way we make Disney Infinity. You guys, I will so. say this is the best version of Last Master I've played. Ah, it's extremely right. playable and not frustrating, and it's still difficult. I say strong praise. It's my shoe in of the week. <laughs> if you got a Switch and are tired of Zelda, <laughs> seems like you finally got something that yeah. isn't an old Neo Geo game. Yeah. No, um, I mean, well, you guys already streamed about the Neo Geo stuff. I was not on there. Do you want me to just clip that out? Post the Phantom as your review. Yeah, that's it. Just yeah. a five-second clip. Yeah. No hey, score. This is extremely playable. <laughs> <laughs> extremely playable says Bob Mackie of Fandom. I just can't get over the like. Why isn't Super Mario World on here? Like, why can't we just? We we've it's mastered so... that technology to put Mario World on things. Yeah. Let's do and it. Then they, and Nintendo's just like cheating themselves out of extra money. Like, they yeah. just people would buy it. Yeah, and the, but they'll buy it when they do put they'll it. They'll buy it there, whenever right? that happens. Yes, but it just feels weird that the virtual console and the eShop are still two separate things. Yes. Yes. Because like, I was like. I thought that there was no ability to buy digital games. Like, that's what everyone was freaking out about. Because they're like, oh, no virtual console. They're like, how the hell can you launch a console? They're like, no, no, it just means that, like, you can't have retro games. Like, you have a new weapon that can shoot through that bomb? No, the store so. app for that. Yeah, you should. Well, I mean, you know, not to trash Nintendo too much on here, but, like, the. The, um. The new, it wasn't until they made the new 3DS that they could even put Super NES games on the 3DS. So, like, finally, technology has come that we can put... Oh, oh that's missiles. pretty good. But finally, oh, the technology this, yeah. finally the technology is here that we can make uh, Super NES games work on the 3DS. Nope. Oh, man. Work. What can you shoot through? Now this is this has become a Metroid. Yeah, game. now I've done everything I can think of. I tend to like look around for things I can blow up with my new laser. Yeah, I'll it's great. You... That radar pings a little bit. Yeah, it's pinging a little. I think I need to climb up. So it's great. This, these games like this, you um, you get new equipment, which allows you to explore new areas, go back to old areas, explore those from new treasures, and get new upgrades. It's a, it's a very addictive cycle, which is why these games are great. I wish you had a little more feedback about your up finding new weapons and things. Yeah, I think there is a map. I don't know how to access it. Oh yeah, you didn't get um, one. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Oh, R. Yeah. There we go. So here we go. So I think it's pointing me towards uh, these little squares down there. Mm. Oh, that, that smiling face looked insane. <laughs> oh yeah, very friendly. Let's see. Yeah, it, the map isn't the easy. It should be like a one button press thing, but um. Well, if this is on 3DS, it would be just on your bottom screen. Yeah, also. I can see that. So, I think I want to go down and then to the right. So let's let's head back down. Are there anything uh, anything coming in through chat? Uh, Questions. Some guy whose name I can't pronounce uh, still wants to debate Bob and stuff. <laughs> Uh, I'm ready for a lot. I'm ready for other questions. Anybody got questions? Yeah. PayPal me four thousand dollars and we'll talk. Uh, Scott <laughs> wants to know, Bob, are you excited to try that analog stick with Super Mario World? I am uh, horrified at the prospects. <laughs> oh, that is true. You know what? There is no D-pad, and I don't know how that's going to work in terms of uh, playing games comfortably that weren't designed for analog sticks. It is weird. I guess you got to get your pro. Buy your pro controller for Super Mario World. Uh. Oh, you know, actually, now I think about other things that are shocking that the Switch doesn't have. How can the Switch not have Skyrim now? Like, that's that's a why? Thing. Yeah. You couldn't have a Skyrim port on day one. Here's the thing. What do you want to play, Skyrim or Breath of the Wild? I think. I mean, yeah, that maybe that's it. They're just like, 
Well, we have Breath of the Wild. What do we need Skyrim? I mean, I know they're very different games, but I bet you, Skyrim you're is. Miss oh, you're right. Skyrim is going to feel very dated after Breath of the Wild. It, it's already really dated because we already got a better version of it on the PS4. Yeah, I mean, like six I months mean, ago. Yeah, it's gonna feel. That. Also, it's a six-year-old game, so it's it's gonna feel dated because it is dated. But I feel like the amount of freedom you're given in Zelda might make Skyrim sort of feel a little like I don't know, a little bit dated. It's mm -hmm. working with that with that Bethesda framework where it does feel a little like an older game. I hope they haven't fixed their, like, memory issues so that, like, uh -huh. as I collect a bunch of brooms and leave my doors open, my Nintendo Switch will just start to chug, <laughs> turn my save file process into, like, a three-hour-long thing. Or then have, like, wolves run up to you and then just stare at you and just bug out or whatever. The bugs are the best part of Skyrim. They really are. And the mods. Yeah, well... There's probably no way to mod the Nintendo Switch version, right? I don't think so. I don't think there'll be a mod shop. We should be happy they even put a thing yeah. out there. Dude, the Fallout one has been a disaster. Oh, on consoles? Yeah. Uh, I didn't know that. It's just like, the, the limitations of it, like, basically mean that, like, the mods you want aren't there. So all the coolest one. Well, I would guess like uh, when I think of mods, I think of Randy Savage voice. I think so of that, uh, uh, lots of naked people. <laughs> I think of also mods. nudity. So I guess neither yeah. of those things would probably be. Yeah, illegal nothing, on nothing there. copyrighted, nothing uh, adult in nature, and nothing that's like substantial to any real degree. Uh, yeah, like no new maps or yeah. new dungeons or whatever. Yeah, Why even bother people, then? people turn Skyrim mods into entirely new games. Mm. Like you're not getting that. Ooh, get a little jump there. I uh, speaking of nudity in those games, can you believe they uh, for the console version they cut out the uh, the console version of that new Kona game? They cut out the the penis slider. Yeah. Oh, they did. Yeah, you can't customize the the uh, the wang on your character. Which uh -huh. game? Uh, Conan. Conan, the new Conan. Oh. Uh, when you create a character. There's a there is a slider. Yeah, there was for, a slider. Yeah. For, for it's actually not and, an MMO because no one does that anymore. Oh, that's right. Nobody it's just that it's actually a survival game. I only recently learned this. But but they 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 worked hard. Oh, yeah. They no pun intended there, but <laughs> they worked very hard on on getting the like the dick physics to look right and all and that work went to on waste. Xbox One like you think you worked with that Dante's Inferno uh, dick physics team? Oh, that's <laughs> right. Yeah, that's. It's like one of three console games I can think of that actually has a wiener in it. They borrowed the code. It's like, one hell of a wiener. <laughs> this, this was originally a worm boss, but you can shrink it. <laughs> yeah, just attach it to your devil character. Yeah. There it goes. So we're in another dungeon. I'm going to exit the screen now. Smart move there. Suckers. I'm glad, I'm glad it does that, even though it's smart enough down to. Yeah. It, yeah, they it's could just... Touches, right? Like, it's actually... Yeah. That's, that's actually more programming at this point because yeah. they have to like tell it to like tell it back. Yeah, like it, no it, reset. It plays by the rules of NES games for the most part, which is great. Yeah, that was a good time there, Bobby. You killed it before it got you. I only died once on this stream. But how do you get that? Uh, you, you don't. Twice. <laughs> oh, oh god, no. My, my perfect record. This will reflect poorly um, on me. Scott says. Chris Kohler has said the sideways control setup on Switch is one of the most comfortable controllers ever. Really? I'm not calling Chris Kohler a liar. Uh, I'll say he's a liar right now. No, I'm yeah. I think he might I like have Chris. weird hands. We're, yeah. He might just have very tiny hands. That could we're, be we're it. And he's finally Chris. been comfortable. That's that's yeah. my guess. Um, <laughs> I yeah, I'm I'm friends with Chris. I've met him a few times, but. And even shook his hands, but I haven't noticed the size uh, of his hands. Next so. time, hold on to that hand a little bit longer. I don't know. Just, I mean, like, grab it and study it. I wouldn't even say I have big hands, but they don't. It it feels too small. It feels too small to use in an NES style capacity. Yeah. It gets better with those little attachments, but then you have to take them off to put them back in. Like yeah. Very annoying. But I also couldn't imagine playing like. Um, Playing Mario Kart 8 the oh, yeah. Yeah. with Yeah, or in their things. original trailer, somebody's playing like NBA 2K17 with them. Oh like, yeah, no way. You're doing well, yeah, that. The, these guys are like we just finished our b-ball game. Now yeah. let's play. Let's put this side. That game requires two analog sticks. To, yeah, to use it shooting. Otherwise, I guess you can just do modular just button shooting, which would be bad. Guess we'll see how 2K handles it then. But yeah. Uh, Robert Long says, "Stop talking about the Switch." Welcome to our Nintendo Switch. Stream, Robert. Uh, uh, I hate yeah. to break it to Look you. We're playing, but we're a video game website, and a new console came out, and so we're going to talk about it. And this is a Switch game too. Well, yeah. I mean, if Robert has other suggestions, yeah, but uh, I want to know, like, Robert, uh, pick a topic, 
and we'll talk about it to the best of our knowledge. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. That goes out to everybody, too. Yeah. Um, all you people who aren't starting shit we're, we're can also pick topics. We're all worldly people. Yeah. Remember on the stream last week that, like, uh, well, as we were playing Snipper Clips, somebody asked us for basically consulting advice on, like, uh -huh. should I invest yeah. in Nintendo? Yeah, that was so weird. Stuff, like, <laughs> so we're open to anything yeah. here, guys. Is this a secretly destructible wall? No. Nope. Oh, Daniel says, imagine a fighting tournament where you can only play with the tiny Switch controller. I would actually watch that. Oh my god. Yeah, I, would I, totally, I would like host that. Like You gotta think at uh, Evo there's gonna be that. For, um, I don't know, the, well I guess there's already a fighting game on this. Uh, some King of Fire, what was it? King 98, of Fighters 98? Yeah. 98. And Chaku good... Chaku, Waku Waku. It's Waku Waku. And World Somethings. World, World Heroes Perfect, Waku Waku 7, <laughs> and King of Fighters 98. Wow. The most notable fighting games of the 90s, everybody, am I yeah, right? There you go. Those are the games I like. And KLS talking to Mike Drucker about it on Twitter, and it was like, King of Fighters 98 is in my brain. The fighter I would play because the bullies in my neighborhood came by and would take over Street Fighter and that and be like, go away, kid. Yeah. And you're like, oh, I go play the Neo Geo. You play the, the C list fighting game. Yeah. yeah. Which I'm sure is still fine. Oh. I was fine. I was bad at them and they were arcade games, so like I was gonna die on the first dude no matter what. Well yeah, if I were the bullies if I were the bullies of that who were better at it, I'd just be like, Why am I wasting my time for a child to like to beat a child in one round? Like I, uh, I'm 14, I got a lot to do. Yeah. Let's move yeah. on with our lives. Uh, Robert Long's suggestion was the price, which, uh, oh, oh one, sure. uh, about, well, that is the, about the Switch. The Switch, but. Well, 300 uh, I, bucks, right? I absolutely have bucks. thoughts on that. 300 yeah, bucks. Yeah, 300 bucks for no pack in. Like, if it was 300 bucks and the thing that should be a pack in. Oh, well, destroying that stayer. Well, I mean, you could just do it. Just take the damage and walk that way. I think I have to. But the um, the three hundred bucks for no pack in. If it was three hundred bucks with one two switch packed in, I'd be a little more positive on the price. But it's not a horrible price. Like three hundred bucks is just what you play pay for a new system. You know? When it gets its uh, streaming services, yeah, then it becomes a three hundred dollar tablet with a better game selection. Oh yeah, and that's cheaper than. Same price and more useful than an Android tablet and cheaper than an iPad. Mm -hmm. Like, I would totally, if I had a kid and they were like, I want an iPad, I'd be like, here you go, here's a Switch. Like, yeah. You can watch also, Netflix on it, I play Mario on it eventually, and like, yeah. shut up. Yeah. yeah. I'd be like, here's a Switch and I'm borrowing it. Play yeah. Zelda. What? And they'd be like, the iPad has a battery life of eight hours. I'd be like, stop. That, you take a doesn't... three hour thing, when it dies, uh, then you have to stop playing. That's like how I would set like, screen time limits. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah. The iPad does not have Zelda. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when I think of how much I've played Zelda in bed, I think, like, if I could finish playing Zelda in bed and then just start watching, you know, Netflix, I'm like, eh, cool, good. That's, that's worth three Ultimately, bucks. we never want to leave our beds. No, that's, uh... It's a bed-based lifestyle we're shooting for. Uh-oh, oh, oh, no. Um, oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! That's pretty cool how the wa it all receded for a wave to come at you instead of being the regular recession. Yeah, nice little effect. Mm -hmm. uh, but 300 is not crazy for it, but it's it's also the hidden prices of like... So I got mine for 300, but I didn't want it. Like 32 gigs is way too small for an SD card in there. So I spent $75 on a 200 gigabyte one. Yeah. So boom, that's that actually made it a $375 system. Now, do I want another controller? There's another 70 bucks. And yeah, then, and then... That's how they get you. And then, do I want to be able to charge this with a USB thing instead of just the stand? Well, then I have to spend 10 bucks on a USB-C to USB regular uh, 3.0 cord. And a Pro Controller is really expensive, right? Well, honestly, you're not pricing Pro or Controller today. It's, it's 70 bucks, which is what you'll pay pretty much for a DualShock 4, true, and true. what you'll pay for an Xbox One. But I think I would want one. So. I mean, I don't know about you, but... Yeah, I, I would. I would. I would. Do I still like being able to just play? When I play off TV, I like put my hands wherever I want. Like, just put, like, hold them over your head, Bob, like this. And just, uh, there's there's no uh, there's no left analog desync. You're not having this. any desync issues on no, this? No, not with this one. Um, Alright, so the chat has a few things. Uh, 
Aaron uh, wants to uh, wonders if Arms is going to be at Evo. That would be a great. I would love Ooh, to see Arms yeah. at Evo. I, um, hmm, I mean, I played it. It is very technical in terms of uh, much more technical than it seems for being yeah. like basically we boxing. It's all about knocking people's punches out of the air and landing your own. It's really neat. I want to see how it plays with traditional controls, not just the motion ones. Um, Scott's brings up a good point. Uh, we're talking about how the controllers are not that more expensive. The thing is that the system advertises itself as having two controllers in there for multiplayer, but yeah. it's also advertising that Street Fighter 2 is coming out next month. Oh boy. Um, and there's no way you're playing Street Fighter 2 on that, so basically yeah. it's 140 extra dollars oh. for any Street Fighter fan who actually plays mm -hmm. Street Fighter with their friend locally. Here's the thing, it's technically true. you can because there's an, there's an L and R button here, so you have six buttons. Suck. I mean, you can, I mean, but like, you're but, not gonna. Oh no, no, I'm saying that they made it possible at least. It's yeah. gonna be a terrible experience. Mm -hmm. uh, I forgot uh, about Ultra. Oh boy! Daniel was an e-reader app for his oh. Well, if you invested in e-reader cards, you've wasted your money. <laughs> the toxic <laughs> vermin. Uh, don't like worry, Daniel, just over you can just buy Amiibo cards if you feel like wasting your money on cards that don't actually seem to do anything. Mm. Hey, you're, you're effing up Crabulous here, Bob. I respect no crabs. Man. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, uh, oh, here is the challenge. Wait, what do I do? Little, I think you're supposed to shoot Lynn's them before kid. they shoot uh, you. Okay, nice. you got it. Oh man, those, that just goes through my mid speed. The shotgun's powerful. Oh, nice. You got this. Come on, Crib. Only, only, what, well, 25% left. Uh -huh. Yeah, oh, alright. That was way better than that, that boss rush. Yeah. Hey, you know, you haven't died to a boss yet. You've, you've killed them all in one go. I am also extremely good at video games. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Game Boy printer attachment for the <laughs> Switch. Oh, that'd be That'd nice. be great. Oh Whoa! my god! Spoilers, everybody. It's Princess Zelda. What is she doing here? Ooh, cutscene time. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Hey, I'm here to help. Uh, that's, that's, a real, voice. that's an anime dub voice for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's uh, that's brilliant life symbolism. <laughs> what am I fighting for? <laughs> that's what that stance right at him. What the? Oh, he's at hell again. I bet she has amnesia. She must have. Uh, she's not even she, gonna say more words. Like, Sophia, who that? Yeah. <laughs> Look, now I can actually. Uh, is oh, sorry. Who are you? Yeah, exactly. Nah, she has amnesia. Oh, I played a, a Japanese video game before. Everybody, it's fine. She's yeah. very calm for waking up in another person's car. Uh, not she is. Yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, okay, so what's your name? Jason Frutnick. Frutnick. Uh, it's Eve from the Blaster Master Worlds of Power book. Says Kid Fenris. Oh my I God! Oh, no, uh, Kid Fenris. Ask. I want to know how many. How much of this is tied into that Worlds of Power book? If you don't know, Worlds of Power Those were, are terrible. Yeah, they were a series of late 80s uh, young adult books. Oh, horribly a written. Blaster Master? And there's a Blaster Master one, there's a Castlevania 2 one, there's a, um... God, what else? There's a... Jeez, Castlevania 2. Mega Man one? I mean, yeah, they're yeah. all very poorly written, but... It was none were canonical, so... No. Okay, she does remember, see? Oh, she's, oh she's the, she seemed to have lost her memory. Oh, damn it. Yeah. So wait, how can you say that's your story if her story is I don't remember stuff? She remembers some stuff. But yeah, Worlds of Power, uh, notoriously bad uh, young adult book series, and people have been, have been making fun of them on the internet for about 20 years now, so... <laughs> eh, they're easy to make fun I mean, what, uh, book adaptations of of classic video games that have yeah. no story? Written by uh, authors with pseudonyms like FX9. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, Fender says, uh, in the World of Power books, Eve was an alien girl who helped Jason. There's a lot of dialogue here, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, that's, just, that's it. That's all he said somewhere. Uh, hi, Harry. You're shouting my name. Oh, uh, thanks for coming by. She's explaining all the things we've already figured out about the receiver. Check it out, guys. All right. Up, uh, yes. Honeycombs now, whatever those are. <laughs> Have to attack the honeycomb hideout. Ah, the bugs are still. I'm a big, <laughs> a a big, big robot, and I deserve a big breakfast. This is a really fun game. I am into this game, everybody. 
Our review right now, five out of five. Oh, uh, what? No, Send it to Metacritic, put it in an envelope. You're ruining our scale. We've only given one five out of five so far. Perfect. Uh, Honestly, we'll do better with PR if we give out a lot of fives. So. Uh, yes, that, is, uh, that, that would really help us out. Right? Mm. Um, so, we'll be done with this as soon as Bob 100%s the map. Oh my god. Wait a minute, no. I have, I have to edit things. How much longer are we going with this? I'm just curious. Uh, as long as you want. Okay. I mean, we've been going for an hour now. Okay. I can do um, another. Um, let's stop at three. What time is it now? It's two forty-eight. Okay, let's do that. So yeah, we got another ten minutes, you guys. Um, Bob's gonna check out kind of the zone he's just unlocked, and we'll see how far he can get into there. Oh, I think I see where you need to. You gotta backtrack a whole lot though. To go back down, right? Yeah, you gotta get back yeah. to way, way far back. So yeah, I, I unlocked the uh, weapon on Sophia that will allow me to blast through those yellow blocks. So I'm going back to the areas that were blocked off by them previously. Again, classic Metroidvania design. It makes you, it rewards you with more game. You go back to areas that you couldn't access before. Though you know, I'm of the, I'm of the way of thinking of just like, well, this is. I just say classic Metroid design because yeah. this is copying Metroid, and uh, and Metroid was the only one at its time. Oh. That's that's my thing. Uh, uh, I see. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, Castlevania at least had the map. Metroid didn't at first, but um. No, yeah, that's true. Come on, use son of a gun. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there we go. Bob swears like, quite a lot less than I do. Uh, here. At least. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm a professional, and I've got standards. Technique. Most people swear less than you do. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. All right, well, let's get in. I kind of want to watch you play, like, Dark Souls, though. Mm. Henry or me? Uh, Henry, just, oh, like... No, thank you. Just a super cut of... <laughs> and it's kind of like, uh, for stress reasons, I just can't play this. My reaction is like, oh, Dark Souls, really? <laughs> no, I, can't, I, I hate losing a thing. I just, uh, I... I think I learned it from my mom. She was also just terrible at taking losses in games. She, we, the the last game she took really seriously that me, her, and my brother would play against each other were Puzzle Fighter, uh, and, okay. uh, which is just a cheap game. Like, but I love it. But so when we played Puzzle Fighter, I was oh, he ran away. Uh, when we played Puzzle Fighter, and my brother would finally win, or he beat her most of the time. She would like literally swear at him and be like, oh, F you. <laughs> no, she wouldn't say F you, but she would say like, there we go. Uh, she would say, like, uh, shit, shit, shit. Like, she would, she would swear quite a lot of it. You were adopted. Uh, <laughs> my parents would tell us to, uh, it wasn't you were adopted, but they would jokingly say, like, um, not jokingly, but when we were super little, to say, like, if you don't. If you don't behave, we're gonna give you to the gypsies. Whoa! Like, Whoa! Wow, uh, <laughs> I think that was just maybe a thing that made more sense back then, than, uh, or or maybe give you to the circus, but more so like yeah, give you to the gypsies. Until that finally stopped when my little brother like called their bluff and was like, "I'll go to the gypsies. I'll do it." Uh, like, no! Uh, <laughs> no! We, we never thought this would happen. Call the gypsies. <laughs> I think that, sorry, that, that might be an insensitive Now you have to tell your children you're giving them to the Roma. Yes, yeah, yeah I, I, I should have said that. Sorry, sorry. I, uh, I one time was cruel and told my little brother that he was a mistake. Oh. Which is just a mean thing to say. <laughs> yes. Um, especially to someone with Asperger's. Oh. Um, it was before we knew. He just yeah. thought he was a jerk. Um, <laughs> but, like... Like, my mom, without missing a beat, was like, act. She's like, well, you're the second born twin, and we definitely weren't trying to have twins, so literally uh, you were the only mistake. Damn. Was like, what damn. the? Checkmate. Like, I was like, all right. I'm like, yeah. well, I have to process this now. Yeah, she called you on that. Yeah. And, like, I didn't know you were a twin either. Yeah, yeah. I have a paternal twin. I have a twin sister. Oh, okay. Interesting. Oh, wow. No, I don't have. Uh, I have a. I have a little brother, and that's it. Well, to get into biology, if you have a twin sister, uh, you, it has to be well, fraternal, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah. it does. Um, but you can't have a fraternal. People still ask. Yeah. Uh, identical? Yeah. Are you guys identical? And you're like, no, it's not worries. <laughs> oh, let me explain how DNA works. Yeah. Pull out a film strip. You can't have a fraternal. Bro like you could have had a fraternal brother too. Yes. Not, and we could look yeah. almost. Exactly, like, like, is it like Mary Kate and Ashley are not actually identical twins? Yeah, like that's true. Twins. That's quite a trick, a lie told uh -huh. us as children. 
Bob and I were just talking uh, about Kevin class. says you tried the co-op function in Blaster Master Zero. Oh, no, you know, not we yet. Haven't, actually. Uh, I'm dead. Ooh, wow, well, hey. A good reason to check out multiplayer, right? So should I exit out of here? Yeah, yeah I mean, well, when was the last time you saved? Uh, it, the saves are pretty frequent, so I'm right. going to be done after this, so... I mean, will you ever play this again anyway? Maybe Not on phone? this console, but, um... Or, no, hit the plus button, or is that what you... That's, oh, uh, okay. wait, no, it's minus. Oh, you just hard save Oops. here. Okay. In case I ever want to come back to this save. Mm. Yeah, hold and reset before you, uh, exit the game. Alright, well you're past me ready. Uh bu -bu -bu -bu. X uh, game start multiplayer? Yeah. Yeah. Oops. Um I think you have you have to hit. Oh uh, right, this is still B, on. Yeah. Uh choose slot two. No, don't do it! Oh wait, okay. Cancel. Let's try slot two. You go down to slot oh. two. This the, now this is this is a game in and of itself. Uh, multiplayer. Right. You pick multiplayer. Okay. Alright. There you go. Oh, oh, it's it. Oh, okay. so it's oh wait, then I'm who has... you're, you're the gun, and I'm I'm uh, the. Non I don't know. Gun. Do you have two green lights, or do I have two green? Lights? Oh, I have one green light. I'm controller one. Oh, good. Assist. All right, all right. So we we are choosing a different controller to do different things. Uh, hit start or B, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Uh, if you guys are just joining us, we are playing Blaster Master Zero on the Nintendo Switch. It's the newest game. To hit the Nintendo Switch, it's a remake of the no. NES Classic. Sorry. Bob and Henry are about to check out multiplayer if they can figure can out do it. how to Here, communicate pull, pull effectively. Both to, uh, <laughs> set it up. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, now we got it. So you're going to be driving, Sophia. Isn't that LR? Yep, you did. You did it. And okay. I'm going to be shooting. All right, and then put this. <laughs> I'm sorry, let's do that again, do that again, Bobby. I'll, I hit B and stuff. I, I don't know what's even happening. Yeah, I don't know what's I don't think you chose the right uh, option. <laughs> Here, do it again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Okay. Alright, there okay. we go. Remember to hit B instead of uh, A. There we go. Alright, so now Bob's driving and Henry is the assist. Yes. And you're going, you did Get it. thing. Yes. That was the first puzzle of the game. <laughs> if you can't figure that out, then you can't play it. So I think it's just sort of a shoehorned in multiplayer mode. Is this a little brother mode? I think it's like twin brother mode because we're, we each have equal, I mean, the functionality is equally important. So... Can you shoot as the... Okay. I can. You still have the same abilities as before, right? I do. Whoa! Oh, but you, oh, so your thing has different weapons too, that's cool. Yeah. So this is multiplayer mode, uh, Henry's controlling a cursor, and I'm controlling yeah. the tank, and uh, I, I still have the same powers I did before, but I just, I think this makes it a little easier, I guess. Why isn't that cursor motion control? That's a good question. Mm. Yeah. That would make more sense, but, uh, I don't well, know. Well, you I wouldn't be like able to replicate that on the 3DS, right? And I feel like this is a last minute thing that no one, like, 2% of people are going to use, so I'm guessing they don't want to put I'm that much time I'm not being a great too. shot here. It is hard to keep track of it when I'm not controlling the way, direction the camera moves. I do want to see how this changes when I turn into Jason mode. Oh yeah. Maybe that. Maybe it'll just be the same. I'm guessing it probably will. Okay. Don't care. Do you think at the end of this game, when you find Fred, he's turned evil and you fight him, and the game literally becomes Freddy versus Jason? Oh. Whoa. You know what? In the original, I never got that. In the original, it does. Uh, you, uh, you do fight Fred. Oh my god, you guys. I never got to that with Freddy That's, You're the first Jason. person, Jack, I think. I know, I, you're the first person in the world you to get my that mind, probably baby. not intentional reference. I don't that, know, I can see them. I can see the translators in America. Before, uh, that film came out? What, in 88? Uh, no, no. <laughs> in, well, okay, but in 88, Freddy and Jason both they were at their hottest. Their careers, yeah. exactly. I would think people were even saying then, like, yeah, Freddy versus Jason, that'd be cool. That Freddy was uh, Jason. a debate. In the letters column of every Fangoria in 1988. Yeah. And it's like, I can't destroy rocks. It's like, you presume that Jason even sleeps? <laughs> uh, he's a creature born of hell. In Freddy vs. Jason, they had to make a pretty good excuse for Jason not to be just easily clowned by yeah, Freddy's I mean, magic and brains versus a guy who has who doesn't have a mind. Freddy mind is really. smarter and more specifically from hell, and Jason is just and has magic. and has magic. Jason is sort of he, he's probably a zombie. There could be some kind of hell uh, endorsement sponsorship, but 
Yeah. He's not explicitly. He yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I mean, when he literally some goes to hell. Witchcraft involved episode. too, right? That one with Paul Rudd. Oh uh, yeah. Like... You want to talk about that one? But yes. So I think we're good on our stream. Uh, All right. Off everything, yeah, this is but fun. Yeah. I, we yeah. should have been doing this the entire time. I agree. I didn't realize it was so in depth uh, or so playable with two people. But yeah, this has been Blaster Master Zero. I recommend it. It's on the Wii. Uh, God, I keep doing it. It's the on the Switch. Wii Switch. Switch. The Wii Switch eShop for <laughs> $9.99, and it's super great. I feel like well, if you didn't auto fire, if you didn't play the original, you don't need to because this is way better, and I think it's modernized enough where. Even if you weren't born in the 8 bit era, you could still enjoy the heck out of this game. Just a good indie game. Plus, Jason's little like, pixel animations are adorable. They are really cute. So, yes, uh, okay. thank you for watching, everybody. So you know, yeah. Thanks for joining us. Uh, if you haven't yet uh, and you want to watch more streams like this, please follow uh, this Twitch channel or YouTube channel or Facebook channel, whichever way you're watching this. We really appreciate it. Uh, we do gaming streams at least once a week, and we'll be doing that even more regularly as the year goes on. Uh, you can follow Henry and Bob on Twitter at Bob Servo and H E N E R E Y G. Never gonna change it. Energy, uh, sort of. He's sort full of. of. He's full of energy. <laughs> energy. Uh, awesome, guys. We will see you back here next week. Have an amazing weekend. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.